We're going to start with some positive news now about a possible new treatment for COVID-19. Early results from a clinical trial in Britain suggest that a new treatment could significantly reduce deaths from the disease. It uses a protein which our bodies produce to fight viral infections. So how does it actually work? Well, the protein interferon beta is part of the body's first line of defense against viruses, warning it to expect a viral attack. The coronavirus seems to to suppress its production as part of its strategy to evade our immune systems. The new drug is a special formulation of interferon beta delivered directly to the airwaves through a nebulizer. Well, the trial of the drug has been small scale so far, but with promising results. Let's get more now from our correspondent, Justin Rollat. Uh, Justin, this treatment, as we've been saying, could be very promising. Yeah, it is promising. The initial results of this clinical trial are very encouraging. They suggest that patients are 80% less likely to deteriorate once they're in hospital. They're more than twice as likely to recover fully within a month. They, are, they suffer less breathlessness, which is one of the key symptoms of COVID-19, and they also spend less time in hospital. On average, they were discharged three days earlier, six days instead of nine days. All very, very encouraging. But there is a health warning, so to speak, on all of this, and that is that these results were not peer-reviewed. They've just been released, the initial results. We didn't get the full data set, so the BBC is not in a position to confirm the findings of the scientists. But if they live up to what the scientists are saying that they do, then this would be, as you say, a very significant development in the treatment of coronavirus, not just here in the UK, but around the world. Um, so, Justin, what happens now? What happens now is they, they take all that evidence, they've got all that data they've collected in this trial and they rigorously test it. They look into it, they present it to the regulatory bodies here in the UK, but also in America, the FDA, the European Medicines Agency in Europe and elsewhere around the world and say to them, listen, what more do you need in order for us to get approval to begin to use this treatment on patients? Uh, they've currently got a, a, another clinical trial, a clinical trial looking at the, uh, the use of this drug much earlier in the illness when people first catch it. That's actually the cohort of patients they originally thought would be most successful. So they're trialling that at the moment, but they'd like to expand it and all patients who can benefit it from it to get the, get the, uh, the drug as soon as it's certain that it's both safe and effective. Um, Justin, at the beginning of this virus, there was a lot of concern about ventilators, uh, whether there were enough of them, and, and when people went on ventilators, uh, you know, the survival rate. What's interesting about this is it's done through a nebulizer. Yeah, it comes through a nebulizer because what it does is deliver this protein that you just you talked about at the beginning there, delivers this protein directly into the lungs. As you said, the protein kind of orchestrates the body's immune response. So what it's really doing is getting your own body to attempt to overcome the virus. Um, and what they thought was that it would be best in people who'd only just caught the virus, whose bodies hadn't been overwhelmed. What's actually surprising about the results, and one of the many surprising things about the results of this study, is that it worked so well, or appears to work so well in patients who really have quite developed disease. Very promising. If you look at the other drugs that have been uh, suggested that are promising, remdesivir, produced by the American com company Gilead, or dexamethasone, which is a, a steroid which appears to have effect. It only works in certain cohorts of patients. It looks likely that this drug, interferon beta, delivered directly to the lungs, will work across a whole spectrum of patients, which again is very, very encouraging news. But I must put that warning again. Early results, preliminary results from a small study, and we haven't yet had them convert, confirmed by being reviewed by other scientists. But as you, as you said right at the beginning, a very encouraging news on coronavirus treatment today. Justin, thanks so much for that update.